Don't be fooled. This is not the high life. Taran sleeps in that drawer. This is what wealth smells like. <laughs> if, you can, if you can smell on the screen. Talk to your TT fans. Great. Oh, got a proper tomato head in this one. Obviously, you've just seen in the title. This is the first race weekend back of 2021. It is so good to be back. Uh, so I've just been out in my first session. Um, this is obviously Friday, so we don't have any qualifying today. We've got two free practice sessions. The weather was a little bit iffy, so I sort of held off um, for the first 10 minutes and let, let things see what was going to happen. Decent feeling on the bike, considering I don't really like them conditions. It dried up pretty much towards the end, bar a few... Um, few wet patches but uh, I ended up P5 so good start to the weekend and then we're out again later on at about two o'clock so uh, I'm not going to make any changes at all to the bike obviously because we were a little bit off the pace with the, the conditions and stuff. Uh, we've got some new forks in for this weekend after testing and stuff so we couldn't really tell what um, what the differences were with that. We're probably like 0.8 off what we did here at the test so um, yeah, we're going to go, hopefully it's fully dry for later on, even though the weather's not looking looking like that. But it would be nice to get at least a dry session before uh, qualifying tomorrow. So that's the way the weekend works. We get two free practices on a Friday. And then uh, qualifying Saturday morning, race Saturday evening. Uh, warm up like 10 minutes on Sunday morning. And then another main race on the Sunday. So that's the way the weekend goes. And I'm going to bring you guys along just to have a little bit of a look and see what happens on a weekend. Um, you can probably see in the background, I'm sitting in a rather nice motorhome. This is not mine. Um, I've not paid for this via YouTube or anything. It's my it's my boss's and he's kindly letting me um, stay in it this weekend because I've sold my camper and I'm waiting to get a new one. So yeah, don't be fooled. This is not the high life. This is what happens when you can't eat anything on a race weekend. Slave. Slave I am. This is, well, in my vlog I made it pretty clear that my motorhome wasn't my motorhome, that was my boss's. This is Taylor's motorhome. <laughs> so all this is Taylor's, everything. And then Taran sleeps in that drawer, in there. Won't even let him in the bed. That's his drawer, isn't it? That little one, that's yeah, where he sleeps yeah. in. <laughs> this this, this lady and gentleman is what wealth smells like. <laughs> if, you can, if you can smell on the screen. It's the one plus of having a brother that's miles faster than you. <laughs> <laughs> Finally get to use it for something useful. Oh, so the weather is crap. It's pissing down outside. So we're currently just sat watching. I don't want to get me old Zoomeroonie in. Motor 3. That's as exciting as it gets right now. Motor 3. What's happening today, Neil? Smash his face in, Neil. Do you want me to zoom? Neil, you're, <laughs> sp you're supposed to be on a diet. Neil, Neil, smash his face. Neil, you're supposed to be on a diet. <laughs> Neil, smash him on. Neil, just grab his camera and chuck it on the floor. <laughs> that, doesn't, that, doesn't look, that doesn't look like a diet to me, Neil. <laughs> I want to tell all, all your fans how your day is going. Put your hat over the top of his camera. Huh? <laughs> Neil. Are you getting aggravated, Neil? <laughs> Not really. Get your big fat hand off. You're, Not you're really. just focusing the camera. On a scale of 1 to 10, how aggravated are you, Neil? Four. Four. <laughs> That's not very easy, you have to try harder. Right, hang on. Comments on what's happened today. Hold on, we get this out of the way. Yeah. Who wants, who wants to go? See how many Moto3 teams getting on. Oh, thanks for your input, Rog. I'm busy on her. There's people have been asking you? for you again since the last one. What have we done today, Grumpy? Do you want to get on his No, no, no. Neil, get this. <laughs> oh, you want to be on now, do you? No. Oh, well, stop interrupting the conversation then. What, uh, what's happened today, Graham? Fill, fill the people in. First session, how did it go? First session? Yeah. Missed the first 10 minutes. Why? Why? 
sketchy condition. Right, okay. So that was a practical out. practical decision. Practical decision. Ended up P5. Yeah. 1.2 of yeah. hole. But hole was 0.8 faster than second. Oh, right. So it's only Jack Kennedy that yeah. was away. Second session, greasy, wet, damp. Hey, we're trying to make a video here. Sorry for interrupting. Greasy, wet, damp. Drive it. Not worth going out. The forecast for tomorrow and Sunday is dry and sunshine. Oh, perfect. So all you're going to learn is what the medical centre looks like. Anything to add that, Neil? Neil. <laughs> You're keeping the people in suspense, <laughs> say something. This, this guy coming here is the best photographer in VSB. See if we can get him, see if we can get a bit of chat out of him. Would you like to explain your level of awesomeness? When? What? Currently? Yeah. I've just said you're the best photographer, and well, oh, that may be a bit of a, a disservice. I said BSB, but maybe in the world. I wouldn't say in the world. Why? There's there's many other good or better. This is an honest channel. You have to tell, if you're the awesome, tell the people you're awesome. I, I, I appreciate your you telling me that I'm awesome, but I, I'm I'm not going to say that myself, yeah. am I? About myself. It's full of shit. He's the best one here. I saw you give me the thing. Oh no way! can hear now but the rain's on the roof of the camper and um, in the last session we didn't bother going out because we've got a really good base setting for the wet and then um, being on this track in the wet and stuff as well so there was really nothing to be gained by going out and riding around plus it also looks like it's going to be dry for the rest of the weekend so that's the plan so next up now um, obviously it's Friday evening now next up in the morning is qualifying at half 11 and then a race at what time's the race? Five? No, four. Uh, four. Half past four. Half past four tomorrow evening, and then there's the what we class as the sprint race. So let's hope it's um it's given twenty degrees in sunshine. So yeah, twenty degrees sunshine tomorrow. We're gonna have a awesome day. Sun is yeah. Sun's up there, just behind a few clouds, but it's not giving it to get wet. It's giving it to stay dry. Oh look at these two. Forward to getting out qualifying, like I said, it's half 11. Um, and then a race is around 4 4 oh, it's gone dark. Uh, race is around 4 4 30 time, so should be good, two good, clean, dry sessions. I'll, um, yeah, I've got everything ready to go for qualifying. We haven't changed anything on the bike and stuff, we're just going with what, what settings we had. And then, uh, probably chuck two tires at it in qualifying, and I'll be back to let you know how I got on. So, quick update. Um, obviously, you can see I've been char changed. No uh, sweat on the face after the session. So, um, yeah, session went okay. Genuinely, there was a little bit more pace in the bike and me. We were up uh, quite a few times in different parts of the track on different splits, maybe two tenths, half a second at some points. But uh, we just hit some traffic, and that happens. It's not like I caught up on someone that was. Um, touring and just messing around the guy was just on his genuine lap and he's trying as hard as he can so it's nobody's fault so therefore didn't even weigh him with my arms or my legs to to let him know but um yeah we're p5 on the grid um yeah like i say that's all we need first two rows will get us away here we've got a decent pace i feel comfortable on the bike which is good and um let's see what happens oh got a proper tomato head in this one um so race done i ended up p4 uh, race panned out, got an average start, I think I was away 5th or 6th possibly, um, got past one person on the first lap, next person had a slight high side and that created a gap to the front um, 3, um, got past him, then closed the gap of about just over a second, got the fastest lap of the race in doing that, um, so that was really good, good pace and got the lead budge, got into 3rd for a few laps and all honesty, I just ran out of steam. Um, not arm pump running like that, just genuine fatigue from, well, basically, I don't want to sound like this is an excuse, but, but from the illness and stuff, I'm just not back to being fully fit, but 
Um, all honesty, if you'd asked me this two months ago, I would have been absolutely over the moon. So yeah, feeling good on the bike. The bike's amazing, so it's a little bit frustrating to not get the full potential out of it as in a result. But the, the pace is there and we go again tomorrow. Slightly longer race, so I'm just going to have to grip my teeth and, and see how we go. But um, yeah, good, good safe race. Really, really enjoyed it. Good to be back. So um, yeah, let's see what happens tomorrow. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the world famous Birchall Brothers sidecar team, uh, multiple time TT winners and current lap record holders. Right, right, you're on. This, this could be the new housewife's favourite. Housewife, just your yeah. one. We've had, a, we've, had a, we've had another request, he's, he's acting quite polite now, but he's just begged to get on the channel. <laughs> Fact or not, he did, he did just ask to get on, didn't he? What, what's I heard him. What's yeah. BBC? Yeah. Basically, same thing. Right. The Irish version. Yeah. So you, you've quit no type racing now? Well, it was never any good, was it? You're all right. Yeah. You won that this, two lap race. This is, this is the lesser half of the Virtual yeah. Brothers. There's one, so if you don't know anything about sidecars, oh, one guy sits in here, and he does everything. And then one guy sits in here and he does pretty much nothing. And that's the nothing man. Oh, that one over there, he's the everything man. <laughs> that's pretty much how cars explain. <laughs> nearly, nearly smiling. Not, not quite, not, not quite. quite. So, uh, oh, I'll let the light adjust. There we go. Uh, Good day, uh, just had a shower, but we ended up, oh, Neil's swearing in the background, we ended up getting on the podium, I'll, uh, I don't know if some of the lads took some videos and stuff, obviously I didn't bring the camera down there because I wasn't expecting to be on there, all honesty, but um, yeah, absolutely chuffed a bit, um, obviously like I said earlier, the the first race I was, I was blowing a bit towards the end, and I felt quite tired since then and stuff, but um, went with a little bit of a different strategy. Well, I obviously wanted to get away with the leaders in the first race, but I um, I did get away with the leaders in this one. Um, it was a good start, sort of got away with the lead group and just sat there, if I'm honest. It's um, probably sat like three, four tenths back off, off the guys just to breathe. And, and they were tearing lumps out of each other, so it was absolutely brilliant to sit and watch. And then, unfortunately, Corey crashed out of out of third and that created a little bit of a gap and I didn't have enough to close the gap so I just says right I'll do these lap times to keep the pace and just to save a bit of energy if nothing else and uh, Ben Curry managed to catch me then and pass me so I was in fourth and he didn't pull away so I sort of dug deep and uh, managed to get back into third last corner last lap so absolutely made up a uh, good weekend for me um, if you'd have said this well, four or five months ago, I'd absolutely bit your arm off. So, yeah, over the moon. The guys have worked really hard to make the bike comfortable for me and stuff, and absolutely brilliant. So, thanks for watching, and I don't know what the next vlog is going to be, but yeah, there's going to be more racer ones and a load of random shit in between all that. So, stay tuned. Oh, yeah, like and subscribe. <laughs>